Hey everyone, it's Lindsay at Close Call Sports. We got asked another question about an interaction between a fielder and a runner. This is another right of way issue. Remember we talked in the last video a few days ago about how on a batted ball it's usually the fielder that has the right of way and at any other time it's the runner. Rule of thumb is that on a batted ball the fielder has the right to field the ball, whereas the runner has the right of way at any other time except a batted ball. And then we also talked about how the fielder retains the right of way even if the ball deflects off themselves as long as the ball remains in their immediate reach. It's an MLB umpire manual interpretation. The rule 58.4 that says that if the ball is within the fielder's immediate reach after deflecting off the shortstop in this case, remember batted ball, then the runner must avoid the fielder same as any other batted ball prior to that. So going back to our current play, let's put that into practice. We see that the pitcher fields the ball, kind of misses it, but remember the rule book doesn't consider it to be an actual miss unless it's beyond an immediate reach. What does immediate reach actually mean? It's really amazing that he was able to keep his foot on the base. It's usually interpreted as a step and a turn. So we look at the pitcher and we see that, yep, it's less than a step and a turn actually for the pitcher. All he has to do is turn and pick it up and reach out to pick it up. That's why the right leg goes in the air. The only way you're going to have obstruction on this, because remember, the pitcher has the right of way as long as that ball is in the immediate reach, and it clearly is, is if the umpire rules that he was intentionally trying to kick the batter or something to that degree. This is called the obstruction by fielder attempting to field a ball uh, situation, and it's only to be used if it's, quote, very flagrant or violent, because the rules give that player, the fielder, the right of way fielding a ball or having it within the immediate reach because that is considered the act of fielding. So I love this question because it adds in the wrinkle about when do you call obstruction for, let's say, sticking your foot out. And that's the answer right there. Flagrant and violent cases. That's what the rule says. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at Close Call Sports. Thank you for sending this question in and we will see you on the site. Dug out with him. After review, the ball on the field stands. Stands.